Hi Wilford gang, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here and you like what you see, please consider staying and being part of the Wilford gang. We'll really, really appreciate that. Um, first things first, happy new year guys, happy new year. We've made it into 2023 and I personally am so grateful that I've made it into another year. I am so grateful to God um, and I think you should be too. Um, if you believe in God, you should thank God for adding another year into your life. Um, but anyway, we all know now that it's 2023, my due date is approaching. <sighs> For those who are new, I'm expecting another baby, my second child, and yeah, I'm June 2023, and we're now in 2023, so not long for me to go. And I am currently in the baby's room, nursery, whatever you want to call it, um, sorting out some stuff. I've got my hospital bag there, packed, and this time I am going to be a minimalist in terms of things that I'm gonna actually take to the hospital. But I'll do a separate video on um, what's in my hospital bag. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'll pick up the camera, say Happy New Year to you guys, and also tell you a little bit more about the baby's room and what we're actually planning to do with it. Cause this time we're doing something a little different. Guys, let me tell you, when we were expecting Sophia, um, the nursery room or Sophia's room was ready by I think five six months her room was ready like cot bed was made everything literally the room was just ready and we were waiting for the baby this time around I am such a chilled mum so relaxed taking each day as it comes um, and <laughs> I've got a few weeks to go before baby's here and officially starting to do something about the baby's room and I suppose it is true with your second baby not that you're not as excited I am excited but with your second child you are you literally just go with the flow I don't know if it's just me or maybe I'm a bit too chilled this time because like I said I've got a few weeks to go and I'm only just starting to sort out the baby's room. We also uh, put up the push chair the other day and that's all good to go which I'm really really excited about. Um, but yeah it's starting to feel so real now guys it's starting to feel real. We're gonna have another little person another little human being in this house. Um, I've been feeling so exhausted, so, so, so tired. I um, recently had my blood test done and um, they basically said I needed to take some iron tablets because I was slightly anemic, which I never had with Sophia, um, but this time around it's different and I hate those iron tablets. They make your poo look black, like literally your poo is dark. Uh, which is a bit annoying and sometimes you can feel a bit constipated but hey I have to take it for my uh, blood levels so yeah that's what's happened recently what else has happened recently the bump has grown so much I also had a midwife appointment today and um, she's basically said baby's measuring big so baby could come earlier uh, than expected which I don't know how I feel about that, but I know that people can get due dates wrong as well. So it could be a matter of the due date that we were given isn't the right one and baby isn't measuring big and baby's basically on track. But anyway, baby's measuring big, so I have a scan booked for the next uh, couple of days to basically check that it's not just fluid and that it is baby growing big. When I had my last scan, I did say this baby looks very chubby and big, but we will see and I'll update you guys on uh, what's happening in that. But anyway, this isn't actually the vlog. 
I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a while, so I've got quite a lot to update you on. Let's have a look at the bump. Let's have a look at the bump, and then I'll show you the room and <laughs> what we're currently doing at the moment and what the plan is for the baby's room. But yeah, here is the bump, guys. Are you ready? The bump is growing so much. So, here we are. I am literally like ready to pop. It looks quite small here, but this bit looks quite pointy. It's pointing out a lot. But yeah, that's where we're at, at the moment. Exciting. Anyway, let me show you the room and um, what we're currently doing. I think I'm going to put the light on. Yeah, that's better. So, as you come into the room, oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these cute wellies. They're so cute. But anyway, as you come into the room, that's my desk slash makeup dressing table and a mirror there and also a chair because I've been working from home and I think it's important to have a desk in the house. And as you know, my husband's currently doing his master's. Um, so when he needs to do his uni work, I think it's important for us to keep that desk and the chair. The mirror is obviously going to stay because it's not really affecting anyone in any way. But yeah, this is going to remain as it is. But keeping this has now meant that we can't have a cot bed. Because I also want to keep the day bed. And of course the day bed is taking a lot of space. But the reason why we're keeping the day bed is because we're gonna have a next to me. And this is what a next to me looks like for those who don't know. We're gonna have a next to me on the side purely because whoever is looking after baby at night can sleep on that bed and baby can be next to them. Um, so we can't have the cot bed and that's the mattress so cot bed needs to go we're gonna gift that to a good home or someone who is expecting a baby we're gonna give that away God knows whether we're gonna have more children in the future but for now we don't have storage to keep that so it's gonna have to go uh, to a good home and then here this we got it off um facebook market and josh actually sprayed that uh, to turn it into gray and i will show you guys the before so that you see what it looked like before but we've put a few bits in there baby stuff and then on top of that is where we're going to be changing the baby I was gifted this when I found out I was having a boy by somebody but then as you guys know we had another scan and we were told we had, we're having a girl and then I also had another private scan and I officially know what the baby's gender is but we're just gonna keep this anyway whether baby is boy or girl um, so yeah I'm gonna have that on top of this so we can change baby all this stuff on top of it needs to go but that's my hospital bag um, I'll do that as a separate video but literally I have everything that I need in there for myself and baby for giving birth um, but pretty much that is everything that is literally it obviously this room needs a really good clean I'm about to make this bed so I want to make it as comfortable as possible 
and I got um, these duvet, a duvet cover from m and and we've got the duvet here so I need to make this bed and make it really nice and comfortable that's going to go out, out of this room today to create some space but yeah this is where we at I don't know if the plant is staying in here I don't know might take it out but yeah this is where we at at the moment so yeah that's where we at at the moment really really love the idea that Josh and I came up with which is to keep the day bed for whoever is looking after baby at night can stay in here with the baby so then it doesn't distract um, the other parent if they're sleeping in the master bedroom or it doesn't distract Sophia as well um, last time with Sophia we had the cot bed in our bedroom and then we moved it into her room when she was around four months and it was quite hard it was quite a hard transition to get up from our bedroom to go into her room but I feel like this time we've got this by just making sure baby is in their room straight away um, so there's not going to be any distractions of we're moving baby into the nursery room or into their room baby is just going to be in their room I feel so weird that I keep saying baby um, I think we've got a name for the baby as well but that's a separate video so yeah that's where we at at the moment and also um because we have Sophia she's still going to need our energy and attention as well so we think it's better if one parent sleeps in here with baby and then the other one gets a good night's sleep and then during the day we at least have one functioning parent uh, to spend time and do things with Sophia um, hubby is also going to be off for about a month after I give birth which I'm super super grateful for and really really happy that he's going to be around no work no nothing he's just going to be a dad so we both can get to bond with the baby together and also that support I'm going to really need it so I'm really happy about that whereas with Sophia I think Josh only got like two weeks off paternity which is awful but this time he's got two weeks paternity actually yeah he's off for about six weeks um he's got two weeks paternity and then his work let him carry over his annual leave so that he can use it when baby's here which yeah super grateful super super happy about but yeah guys this is where we at at the moment super super exciting and yeah keep following this journey because baby Wolford will be here soon before before you know it baby will be here but also I will give you guys a room update once everything is all sorted out and done um, but I'm gonna leave this video here and if you liked this video please give us a thumbs up and if you're new and you like what you see consider subscribing and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, Wolford Gang. Take care. Bye.